Hi dear friends and viewers welcome back to our channel and Vinay Kumar basics of physics dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important topic in the intermediate first year that is nothing but perpendicular axis theorem children I was already uploaded parallel axis theorem and its proof I will provide the link of that particular video in this description clear now we have to discuss about the perpendicular axis theorem and how we can prove that one that is the topic in this video watch the video up to last what is perpendicular axis theorem the moment of inertia of a plane lamina about an axis is perpendicular to the plane is equals to the sum of moments of inertia about two perpendicular axis concurrent with the perpendicular axis and lying in the same plane that is what we call perpendicular axis theorem on board statement it is there let's go for that the moment of inertia of plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to its plane lamina is equal to the moments of inertia about two perpendicular axis concurrent with the perpendicular axis and lying in the plane of the body this is what we call perpendicular axis theorem how we can prove it let's go for that if we can prove that iz is equals to ix plus iy then automatically perpendicular axis theorem can be proved so first you have to understand the statement so here was iz is what moment of inertia with respect of z axis ix is what moment of inertia with respect of x axis and like y y so look here now very simple this is the one plane lamina this plane lamina is rotating with respect to of z axis clear this is the one plane lamina that is moving or revolve around the with respect of z axis revolving around the z axis then with respect of this axis the moment of inertia is iz the moment of inertia of plane lamina about one axis is what iz this z axis is perpendicular to the plane lamina then that should be equals to the moments of inertia sum of the moments of inertia so this is the moment of inertia with respect of x axis what is ix and this is what i y the moment of inertia of plane lamina about one axis perpendicular to the plane lamina is equals to the sum of moments of inertia of two perpendicular axis and meet at one point same point and they are in the same plane that is what we call perpendicular axis theorem so dear students here now we are taking this is the one point at that point the particle mass is delta m or it is delta m and that should be at a distance of r from the origin here o is the origin from that how much distance is there r and this is the x axis and this is the z axis and it is y axis clear so now the distance from y axis to the point p is nothing but it is x because it is parallel to the x the distance from y axis to the particle what is x and now similarly here is the distance from x axis to the particle is what y clear so if you can understand this one you can easily derive the perpendicular axis theorem very simple this is the plane lamina the plane lamina is revolving about the z axis then its moment of inertia is iz and that should be equals to the moment of inertia about x axis plus moment of inertia about y axis that is what we call perpendicular axis theorem children now we have to prove children at point p one particle it is there that should be having some mass delta m so then the moment of inertia about the z axis so moment of moment of inertia about z axis 
what right i z is equals to delta m into how much distance is there op square delta m into op square since what we know moment of initial thing what right is mass into square of the distance mass into square of the distance i is equals to m r square so at the point p we have mass of particles so delta m and the distance is what op clear op square so if we can consider for entire plane lamina what we write i z is equals to sum of delta m into op square that is equation number 1 and children in the same manner the moment of inertia moment of inertia about z axis or now about x axis how we can write i x is equals to what it is particle mass delta m and what is the distance from x axis to the particle y that's what i write i x is equals to delta m into y square for entire plane lamina what i write i x is equals to sum of delta m y square this is the equation number 2 clear and in the same manner now we can go for moment of inertia about y axis about y axis how we can write simply i y is equals to delta m into what do you write from y axis this is what x that's why delta m into x square then for entire plane lamina what do you write i y is equals to sum of delta m into delta m into x square this is the equation number 3 clear now till then according to the diagram according to the diagram what right op square is equals to what right x square plus y square here in this diagram these two are equal this is nothing but x and these two are equal then what right that is y so children from figure what do you write r square is equals to x square plus y square so like this this is the hypotenuse according to pythagoras I put in a square is equals to side square plus side square. That's what I write. R square is equals to x square plus y square. Now substitute this value in equation number one. So here, what is R? Nothing but OP. OP square is equals to x square plus y square. Now we have to substitute this value in equation number one. What we get? From equation number one, what do I learn? I Z is equals to summation of delta M into OP value is what x square plus y square x square plus y square. So from the equation, you know what to write? Simply here, I Z is equals to multiply that summation of delta M into x square means what? Delta M x square plus summation of delta M into y square is what? A summation of delta M into y square. So here I Z is equals to from equation number delta M into x square is what from equation number three summation delta M into x square is what I Y. So this value is I Y and summation of delta M into y square that is what I X. So so I Z is equals to I Y plus I X. So children, this is nothing but what it is perpendicular axis theorem. So in this a very simple, we can prove the parallax theorem, perpendicular axis like this. So I Z is the moment of inertia about the with respect of Z axis. That should be equal to the moments of inertia of two perpendicular axes x and y. So I Y plus I X. So if you can understand this one, like, share, comment the video, children.